Welcome back everyone to this video. We are talking about vectors now. So we shall begin with the magnitude or the modulus or the length of a vector as we have it. Vector algebra, vector analysis, we are talking about the magnitude of a vector in general. Okay. We can have a vector in two dimension and in three dimension as well. So for a vector in three dimension, let's start with three dimension. V, this is the vector V, equal to A, I, plus B, J, plus C, K. I can write it in this form also. V equal to A sub X, I, plus A sub Y, J, plus A sub Z, K. I, J, and K are called unit vectors along the x, y, and z axis respectively. A, i, b, j, c, k are the vector component along the x, y, and z axis respectively. Okay? So, any of this notation is okay. Alright? We are saying the same thing. This is for vector in three dimension. Then for a vector in two dimension, we have just the x and y axis only. A i plus b j. A sub x i plus b plus a sub x sub y j. We can write vectors in another way. That's we can represent them in another format, the bracket form. What we can see now is called the component form. Component form. In bracket form, we can say V equal to A, B, C. Okay? As the case may be, A, X, A, Y, A, Z. The same thing. So, the magnitude of a vector in three dimensional space, we can say the magnitude or the length or the modulus. It is the positive square root of, let me use this notation, a squared plus b squared plus what? c squared. And in two dimension, here we have just the x component and the y component. We have magnitude is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. That's it. Take for example, v is equal to 3i plus 2j plus k. We have to determine the magnitude of this vector. Which is the modulus of v. Is the positive square root of a squared, which is 3 squared, plus 2 squared, plus what? 1 squared. And we have 9 plus 4 plus 1. 9 plus 4 plus 1 is 14. So we have root 14. This is the modulus of the what? Vector. The second question I have here says, if A is equal to 2i plus k, B equal to 3i minus 4j plus 6k, and C equal to 3j minus 6k, we are to find the modulus of 3a plus 2b minus 6c and minus 3a minus 5c. I will solve the first one and I will leave the second one for you to solve and drop your answer in the comment section. It's quite a simple question. It's, it's easy, actually. Going with the first one, we have to determine the modulus of 3a plus 2b minus 6c. Okay, let's do it this way. What's 3a, first of all? 3a is obtained by multiplying this a by 3. 3 times 2i, that's 6i. 3 times k, that's 3k. Now look at this very well. This component now, that's the vector for B. I have the X, Y, and the Z components complete. But here I have just the X and the Z component. That's the Z component. Here I have the Y and the Z component. So for this question now, this first one, since there is no X component, there is no um, Y component, it means that it is zero. Since there is no x component here, it means that it is what? Zero. So, for 2b, 2b, 
We are going to multiply everything here by 2. That will be 6i minus 8j plus 12k. And for 6c, 6c we have multiply everything by 6. 3 times 6 is 18j minus 36k. Okay. So, this is it now. The modulus of theory A plus 2B minus 6E is this. What's theory A? 6I plus 3K was 2B. This is it plus um, 6I minus 8J plus 12K. Then minus, what's 6E? This is it. 18J minus 36k so this is it now we have the modulus of 6i plus 3k plus 6i minus 8j plus 12k the minus we enter that bracket we have minus 18j plus 36k now we have this the absolute value of okay 6i plus 6i is 12i. 3k plus 12k, that's 15k. 15k plus 36k, that's 51k. Alright, 15k plus 36, 51k. Then, minus 8j minus 18j is minus 26j. So let's take the modulus of this now. It is equal to the square root of A is 12, 12 squared. B is 51, 51 squared. C is minus 26, minus 26 squared. So we are having this. 12 squared is 144. Okay, what will be 51 squared? 51 squared is 2601. And what is minus 26 squared? Which is the same thing as saying 26 squared. 676. 676. Okay, let's add it up. 2601 plus 144 plus 676 is 3421. So what is the square root of this value? The square root of this value is um, okay to three decimal places 58.489 to three decimal places. This is the magnitude of the vector to three decimal places. Alright. So evaluate this and drop your answer in the comment section. I'm going to review it. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel. Like the video and share it with your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.